Hello, welcome back to the channel. And we're still on the theme of German lagers. Now, this isn't Hells, or is it? This is the Augustina Brown export, and this is uh, a Edelstoff Edelstoff beer. Uh, so it's an export, and I think it's coming in around about yeah, 5.6 percent compared to the Hellas, which is uh, 5.2 percent. So this is a uh, the beer uh, that they brewed for export uh, but it's also become very popular in Munich uh, in their actual for their locals so let's get it into the glass I'm looking forward to this I have had it but it's been a while if I'm honest it's been a while since I've had this let me just show you the the bottle there I see artwork on the bottle still getting used to this two camera thing thing so hopefully and there's the cap as well so it's nice chilled down i'm expecting again a nice pale beer like i say it's brewed for export let's put that down there let's get the beer in the glass yeah ultra ultra pale color looks absolutely fantastic let's finish it off over here there we go get it all in and there we are nice little dome on top that is a lovely light very light gold straw color clear as a bell again maybe you could you could, you could argue is a slightest of haze there but wow that is pretty clear to me. Nice, creamy looking white head. Just looks absolutely stunning in the glass. Again, these German beers and these glasses just just perfect. They really are. Let's see if there's uh, any aroma. Well, there will be. Oh, wow, again. It's just that typical, I feel like I'm saying a lot now, bready, sweet bread, hint of lemon, slightly floral. If anything, it just smells inviting and it's like subtle biscuit note there as well. It's all about the malt and that slight hint of hop, floral, lemon. It smells fantastic. Right, let's get into it. 5.6% Augustina Edelstoff Export Lager Beer. Cheers. I'm picking up slight more floral than I do on the Augustina Hells. But it's not a bad thing at all because it's nice. It's not, to me, it's not as dry as the Hells. It's got a bit more, I suppose it's a bit longer lasting. It's got a little bit more biscuit note at the end. But it's clean. It's not as crisp, I would say, as the Hells. But this is all my personal opinion. But it's got a nice little bitterness on the back. So it's got that nice sweet note. And it's got a nice little bitterness to finish with. And then it just, go, just goes on a little bit more of that sweetness. And then it goes away. So it doesn't quite dry and then make you want to come back as much as the Augustina Hells does for me. 5.6 is hidden. Oh, it's another lovely refreshing beer i just say this has probably got a little bit more body there so you do know that it's that 5.6 i suppose you do know it's there so you do get a little bit of a stronger feel on it and it's like i say it's got lots of flavor carbonation super low smooth it's another great beer from them it's another great beer from augustina their export beer. I don't think there's anything at all I'm going to be able to read on there. Um, let's see. Edelstoff export beer. Um, Munich beer, Munchen beer. 500 milliliter bottle. Um, yeah, that's all there is to know really, what's on there. So I'll see if I've got anything in 
it says export beer hell so it is a hell hells it's an export hells so yeah that's what it that's what it actually is that's what it says on there so it is a hells it's just an export version a bit more ramped up and you can tell that is a bit more ramped up if i'm totally honest i think i prefer the hells to this just because i think that is a much more refreshing beer but this is still a fantastic beer Okay, I'm going to see if I've got anything in any of my books about this beer. Okay, so I've got my 1001 Beers You Must Try Before You Die by Adrian Tierney Jones. And on page 365, we've got the Edelstoff, Edelstoff. And what it says here, Augustina, well, 5.6%, Germany, first brewed in 1927, uh, serving temperature 8 degrees. I think mine might be slightly cooler than that. Augustina Edelstoff is an export beer, a style that is traditionally brewed for exporting and so has a little bit more alcohol to make it more durable for the journey. It is also sold, sold in its home country and is a beer that is brewed to mark a special event or celebrate an important personage connected with the brewery. Edelstoff translates a precious substance and the beer first saw the light of day in 1927 when the Weimar Republic was coming out of a cast, catastrophic currency and political crisis. Edelstoff has a strong fan base in its home city of Munich, where Augustina Brown Munchen is the oldest such establishment, founded in 1328. Naturally, Edelstoff has its own little word, world sorry, of words and culture because its foam is so fine it is ordered as shomig, which means frothy. When served, more than one third of a glass is creamy foam, with perfect, which, which perfectly preserves the freshness of the beer. Every waiter in every restaurant or beer hall that belongs to a brewery knows this secret. Augustina Monks initially founded the brewery in a monastery in the middle of Munich, but today it is near the Theresienweiss, where the Oktoberfest takes place every year. This event plays an important role for all breweries in Munich, and Augustina is the most traditional of all. It is the last one still to have its beers in wooden casks and not steel containers. Throughout the year, in all brewery restaurants and beer halls, the breaching of each new cask is announced with the loud ringing of a bell, so that everyone can finish their glass of beer and order a fresh edel stuff. It says, Tasted Notes, Clear and golden in the glass with fine hop notes on the nose and delight delightfully smooth on the palate. Yeah. Also sparkly and fresh. A light sweetness, similar light citrus citrus citrusiness for space on the palate. A very malty finish accompanied by light but gentle bitterness. I agree with that. So there you go. That is Augustina's Edelstoff. Edelstoff. I should have done that thing Don told me about Google Translate before I did this video because I'm making a right mess of it again but there you go that is another great beer nothing more to say but let me know if you've had it and let me know what you think and cheers and I'll see you on another one